We are all naturally beneficial, every one of us. And, and that's such a relief, because then we don't need to try to become these beneficial beings that we might have tried all our life to become. And at least I always tried to become this, this person who is such a good person, after lo lots of concepts of what it meant to be a good person, somebody who is helpful, somebody who is like this and that. And, and it was always so much effort to try to put myself into this person who has certain characteristics. And now I was introduced to the Balanced View Training where I recognized that everything about me is completely beneficial already. That everything about me completely stable without an efforting at all. Without efforting trying to be a certain way. Really resting with complete, into complete relaxation of who I am and seeing that I'm naturally beneficial, naturally stable. Nothing about me has to change. Everything about me is just perfect as it is. That was such a relief, even though I couldn't even really think of it. I, I mean, I love these words to hear everything is perfect about myself. I could really relax into that. But how, how, how was that possible? There were so many things I didn't like about myself, so many things I always worked, tried to work on myself, tried to change about myself. How come these are all perfect as they are? But it, something rang true in my experience. Something felt really relieving to hear those words. So I came back again and again. And more and more I recognized the perfection within myself, the perfection within all my data stream. And data streams are we call in the balanced view training everything that we can perceive. So all thoughts, emotions, sensations, Everything we can perceive simply our data streams arising as open intelligence, inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence is the ground of being. Open intelligence is, is our true identity, that that hears everything that is you now hearing, sees everything, perceives everything. Open intelligence shining forth, our vast body inclusive of everything, not only our, our body that is in the skin line, but the vast body of open intelligence, that is our true identity. Not our, all our thoughts, emotions and sensations, all our um, history or, or future, all these ideas about ourselves, that is just such a limited way to view ourselves. We are this vast body, completely inclusive of everything that we can perceive and inseparable from that all our data streams are shining forth and what we do is we just recognize in a short moment we recognize that open intelligence is always present always shining forth and we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment we stop thinking for a moment and see what remains there's something about us that is always alert, awake, always clear, that remains. And then the next thought comes in because we cannot stop thinking for a, a long moment. And you know, the next thought comes in, how do we do that, stop thinking, or, or we don't want to stop thinking, we are so into our stories, whatever it might be. We just stop there for a moment and see that also these, de these thoughts are fueled by open intelligence. We wouldn't know anything about our thoughts emotion and sensations without open intelligence. So the ground of all our perceptions is that vastness, open intelligence, inclusive of everything, inseparable from everything that we perceive. So the instruction is to take a short moment whenever we nat naturally remember to do so. We rest body and mind completely for split second. And that we repeat again and again. And what we find is that these short moments grow longer and longer until they become continuous, until we don't need to ch take short moments anymore because it's always already clear, crystal clear that open intelligence is shining forth in all of our data stream. No, no single data stream left out. It's amazing. All, everything that we perceive is that shining forth of open intelligence and that we can count on in every moment of our life. 
it, it, that was so amazing to me that there's something that I can always count on, that will never fail me. Open intelligence, always shining forth. And we test that. We test that in, in our daily life. So that's the invitation to try it out in our own direct experience. And what I really loved when I came to the training, <clears throat> because I also was involved in all kinds of things before I came to the training, that nothing about my life has to change. It's so beautiful. And, you know, you can take short moments when you go on retreats, you can take short moments while meditating. Nothing needs to change. And you just test it out. Recognize open intelligence, but prioritize open intelligence with whatever you do and see from there. That was a big relief for me, that nothing needed to change in my life. I could do whatever I was continuing doing. I could take short moments with everything. It's so natural and so practical that we can apply it everywhere. And then we can see from there what happens. What, what I realized is that Everything that I was looking for in, in meditation or retreating somewhere, I found in each short moment. I always wanted to get, get, get away because I wanted to have peace. I, didn't, I thought I'd get just peace when I'm on my own. So I, I, I retreated back when I felt like so many things were stirring. But when I came to the training, I realized, wow, I don't need to do that anymore. I can rest right there. I can rest completely in conversation with being with loads of people. I didn't feel the urgency after a while to retreat myself in that way anymore. That was really powerful for me to see that each short moment was completely enough for me to find whatever I was looking for. In each short moment, no matter what the circumstance, that was so freeing that I didn't need a certain circumstance in place to feel that peace and complete well-being and, and ease within myself. I could be in Rishikesh in the market where it's all so crazy and feel that peace. Wow, that I thought I could just feel when I'm in, out in nature somewhere and then, wow, then I could see inseparable open intelligence is everywhere. So in every circumstance where we are, if we we are in, in any country, we are in any, yeah, everywhere, in any situation, we can recognize open intelligence shining forth. And the Four Mainstays is that great support structure that supports us to recognize open intelligence in all circumstances, no matter what. In every moment, the Four Mainstays are there. The practice of short moments that we can apply any time is always available to us than all the training media that we have, that are offered here. We do online as well, so if you're somewhere else and you don't have face-to-face -face meetings, we always have ev all trainings, open meetings, over our video conference. You can always plug in, you just need a computer. If you don't have a computer, you can take book with you, so you can read. So there will be always a, a possibility to participate in the, f the Four Mainstays. So we have so many offerings and then the community, like here, everyone together, sharing this, this, this precious way of living with each other. But the community is also not only face to face, we also have online communities where community meet together. So you can always be in touch with somebody who, who just knows deeply what is the reality of our own being. And then the trainers. You can always have contact with a trainer, just somebody who shares their own direct experience with relying on open intelligence. That was so helpful for me to see, that there are other people, same like me, relying on open intelligence, empowering themselves completely by recognizing all the data streams as open intelligence, completely committed to that. That helped me in, in my commitment to my own well-being, my own stability. I wanted that above all else at one point. I'm just like, okay, I will not settle for less. No data stream that I want pl just play out anymore in my way how I want to be with others. I want to see everything. So I just at one point jumped into the four mainstays and said, okay, I want to take it all the way. I don't want to stop at emotional and mental stability. 
That is guaranteed from the start. M emotional and mental stability. Isn't that amazing? That's the, the starting point. We are all completely stable. And then we just continue on, flourishing, empowering ourselves, opening up to all our strengths, gifts and talents that we just contribute to the benefit of all. We open up to benefit. And we don't need to even actively do that. It just takes over benefit. Such so natural to us the benefit that we feel. Just immediately, in this moment, we feel the immediate benefit and ease within ourselves. And into that we return again and again, one short moment after another.